Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Just Kick from Hixar Us, and today we're doing a grocery haul from TNT plus a grocery and miscellaneous haul from Walmart. So let's get this started. Bay went shopping and he came back with all of these goodies. Check that out. Lots of goodies. Not bad. <laughs> He had to go because there was a lot of things that we actually kind of needed. Our fridge has never looked so clear. Let me show you my fridge. My fridge is pretty empty from fresh produce. Check this out. Look at that. Out of produce wise, I have three lemons and a handful of carrots and a cucumber left. That's it. So definitely, we desperately needed some veg. And veg, my friends, he got. Um, everything's kind of mismatched around, so I'm just going to get at it. All in all, he spent about $200 on everything because we did, if you see here, we did buy some bicycle helmets. We took Nathaniel out for his very first bike ride today, and it was absolutely adorable. Ginevra's helmet is getting a little bit snug, so we needed to get new helmets for her. Because of the way the world is right now, we can't actually, well, we're not comfortable taking her into this actually well, even though, even if we wanted to, we can't right now because we just entered yet another lockdown. But normally we probably wouldn't be very, very comfortable taking her into a store and trying on helmets because of COVID. And so therefore what we did, what he decided to do is he bought three different helmets, three different sizes, trying on which one fits and then returning the two that do not fit. So everything's already disinfected and that's why it's on my counter. So first off, we'll start here. We got some gay lead sour cream. Oh my gosh, I came up with this recipe that I tweaked a little bit. And did you know you can actually use sour cream mixed in with some milk for as a buttermilk substitute? And it is perfect and delicious. He also got three things of Activia yogurt. We, oh, he got the lemon one. I thought he got the orange one, but the lemon one is delicious. And a raspberry one and a peach one. I'm actually really surprised they didn't get a blueberry one. Why did you get a blueberry one? They didn't have any. Oh, they didn't have any. Okay, well, because Honey loves blueberries. So I was surprised, but the lemon one, guys, mm, delicious. Then we also have a, I cannot believe it's not butter. I don't know if I've actually ever tried this before. Um, but anyways, well, it was on sale, 88 cents, so we're giving that a try and a go. And then, of course, the Hazelnut International Delight. This stuff is delicious in coffee. And so, yeah, that's part of our life right now. Two bags of onions. I'm cooking a lot, and every day I pretty much cook with onions practically every single day. Still haven't found a way of of peeling and cutting onions that don't make me cry. So if you have any tips, do let me know. Package of carrots. Um, it's just a staple in our household. And then, of course, two bags of milk, which will last us... <laughs> We're going through more milk now, so maybe like a week and a half. Maybe two weeks. Hopefully two weeks. We'll see. I still have one more pouch left, so maybe. Um, he also got some white radish. Uh, in Chinese, it's called loba. And uh, he wants to make a... Kind of like a stew, I guess, with um, beef, uh, like a, with a beef roast. I want to make a really delicious ginger chicken white radish braise. That is so good. Very, very clean tasting. So we're going to have to fight over the radishes. <laughs> From TNT, he also got two things of the oyster sauce in the Legum Gay brand. If you're looking for a really easy stir fry recipe and you want something to kind of up the flavor, Add like a, a tablespoon of this into the sauce. It really, um, what's the word, elevates the flavoring. Then we got three things of whole wheat bread. I'm assuming that's because it was the deal was three for six dollars. So this will last us for a long time. I keep it in a bread drawer up here away from sunlight and away from heat. I don't like putting it in the fridge if at all possible because I feel like it makes the bread go stale a lot faster. We're going to come back to these strawberries. Stay till the end because there's a story about these strawberries. Vegetable wise, he actually got quite a bit of stuff. I'm really excited. He has some uh, bok choy sprouts. All these veg are from TNT. So the two packages of uh, bok choy sprouts. These are easy and delicious. You have to submerge them in water to kind of help loosen up the dirt. Because sometimes in between the leaves here, you can get like some dirt buildup. See that? So you want to wash all that out. So I usually actually cut off the stuff and then submerge in water for a bit before stir frying or boiling them or whatever. And then the guy lot, he got three bags. So these are like um, Chinese broccoli tips. Uh, and it's like gai lan mio, I think they're called it in Chinese. 
but these are really, really, really delicious. They kind of look the same as yao choy or yu, yu vegetables, but I like these ones more. They have a nicer texture. They don't go as flimsy. So I really, really like these ones. You can stir fry them. The texture stays great, or you can just give them a quick blanch, and again, they're delicious. Uh, then he also got two big, huge crowns of broccoli. Look at these broccoli. They're like the size of my face. They're so big. And these were on sale for, I think, a dollar. $59 or $1.29 a pound. So that's an okay price. And these are these are just some oranges that were on sale for $0.99. Cents. Also got goggles because we have a little blow-up pool that um, we had last summer. And Nathaniel loves playing in water. So Nelson thought that, you know, let's give him some goggles. Let's see what he does with it. And so we got that from Walmart. And then two packages of sanitary pads also on sale and also because I was out. By the way, isn't this the most hilarious and adorable? helmet look at that look at that Ginevra is gonna go gaga over this one I really hope this one fits her head because it is so cute oh my goodness I love it out of all of them I think this one will be her favorite one so I'm really hoping that they these ones will fit so this is a bag of tomatoes um they were on they were on sale but these aren't clearance so these were 99 cents a pound which has been a, actually a pretty decent price now let's talk about clearance vegetables clearance vegetable wise check this out wow Nelson was able to find a haul so you got some carrots tomatoes carrots and tomatoes for a dollar so this bag was a dollar here this part yeah actually you know what? it doesn't look like it's really done bad but anyways I might cut off these sections here and then these ones I wouldn't eat raw I would I wouldn't put them in salads or anything I would definitely cook these the carrots look really good though okay and then he got some more tomatoes and carrots once again these are pretty soft so I'm gonna have to cook them up like with like a tomato and egg stir fry Nelson makes a killer tomato and egg stir fry it is so good and delicious and it's, it's almost like a staple in our house because it is so easy to make and then he, also this one came with Oh, I think these are just garlic. These aren't shallots. No, these are just garlic. So some garlic too, which again, we cook with every single day. And I think it's just the regular variety. But yeah, this whole bag here was $1.50. Oh, and it even comes with a red onion. Yay! <laughs> then here, there's um, this bag here was $1.50. I believe these are some a mix of sweet potatoes and regular potatoes. I'm going to have to double check to see what kind of potatoes these are or if they're yams. Over the last summer, I actually, we bought, I found some Jamaican yellow yams and I was like, ooh, let's cook that. That looks so cool. So then I went to cook, to peel it. And then within like five minutes, my hands felt like they were on fire. I was, I guess I had an allergic reaction to it or I can make some people's hands itchy. So I'm going to do a little bit of research before I start touching those babies. The final bag here is another bag of potatoes. Now these potatoes look like fantastic. I don't know why they're on clearance, but they're $1.50. So maybe they were like a mismatch from other potatoes, like other bags of potatoes that may have been going kind of funny. But yeah, there's like a bunch of white potatoes and then one random russet one or a red one but I mean these are going to be fantastic I could like these would just be so good if I just put them in the oven just to have, like little roasted potatoes because they're such a perfect size check that out a dollar fifty for all of those potatoes that's really great and there's a hand of bananas over here too yeah all in all about $200 for everything, which sounds kind of expensive, especially since there's absolutely no protein in here, but the bike helmets were a little bit more expensive, um, and we are going to be returning two of them, the ones that don't fit uh, Ginevra, of course. I'm really hoping that she fits this one. Now let's talk about the strawberries. Another reason why this haul was a little bit more expensive, because these are, I'm going to believe, to be the world's most expensive strawberries. <laughs> So at least these are the most expensive strawberries that have ever come into my household. These are strawberries. They're premium strawberries, which are a product of Korea. So I have never done any research about these strawberries. They look pretty perfect, except for there's one hidden here that's kind of smushed up and gross looking. So I'm a little bit bummed out for that because $12.00. This, I'm, I'm not even joking. This package of strawberries cost 12 bucks. $12. That's insane. But that's okay. They're going to be amazingly awesome strawberries. So we're going to do a bit of a taste test on this a little bit later on tonight after I finish putting away the groceries. Wow. But if you ever had this strawberry before, do let me know in the comment section and tell me your experience. Mind you, by then I would have experienced it. Like, look at that. That one there does not to be deserve to be in this $12 box. 
So anyways guys, that's it for this haul. We're going to do a taste test of the strawberry, so stay tuned for that video. I hope you enjoyed this. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button so that you can come and hang out with us again. And until next time guys, stay well and stay safe. And don't forget to wash your hands. I love you. See you next one. Bye.